guys so here we go I saw a couple of YouTube videos on foam dye tie dye just regular dip and dye <laughs> so I wanted to try it I wanted to try it because I haven't done any customs on fly knit material and I wanted to experiment with it so we're gonna use writ dye as y'all can see this one's here that I bought them for 16 bucks they're pretty dirty they're pretty good though um, there's a couple of creases on the midsoles but overall they're in pretty good shape okay so now that we wash them they look pretty fresh and so clean clean I like them I like how they turned out they weren't really that beat up I think I got my $16 worth I almost didn't go ahead with this experiment because I like them I could have just flipped them but we can still see a couple creases here and there no damage though so that's a plus now what I was thinking, I was thinking doing black, like the leather black, all the leather black, and maybe just the edges of the shoelaces, and I'm going to do the leather black with black dye. Okay here with the foam. You just want to apply it, even it out. Y'all can see my daughter over there, her little fingers being all curious. She was my help though. There you go. So what you want to do here is you want to put a couple of colors, just a couple of drops here and there to do the marble, the marble design. And then you get like a little stick or something, you swirl it around. If you don't want that much color on them, I think that would be good. But I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I want the whole shoe covered in just all types of color. Okay, so then you just pretty much just put them in the foam, flip them around, make sure you covered everything. Once that shoe is done, just let it rest with the dye, and you can put it in the sink, whatever, tub. And for the second shoe, you want to redo everything again. You want to even it out, put more colors in it. This time, I, was, I just, I just threw everything in there. You know, just whatever. I just wanted to get this done. I mean, it's still gonna have the same effect, right? <laughs> like marble dye, Picasso, Picasso, whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like I said, make sure that you get everything. 
all the fabric sometimes you just want to put your hand inside the shoe and just push it down so you make sure that everything is completely covered But just after letting them rest a little bit, I let them rest maybe like two, three minutes. And then I started just scraping it off. Okay, so there you have it. It looks just like, like a fucked up shoe. And here's the washed fucked up shoe. So I think the red overpowered it. And the leather did get stained a little bit as well. Maybe not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> But it's okay though because that's going to be black, right? The midsoles did get dye on them as well, but you can wash that out. That's no problem. Now what I did here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of the black red dye on the edges of the shoelaces because the black will neutralize the colors and tone down the red and make the other colors pop up a little bit more and of course we're gonna wash them one more time they look like leather face Okay, so we washed them one more time, and here you can see that I already applied the black red dye on the edges of where the shoelaces go, and it toned down the colors, the red, and it brought out the other ones a lot more. We are still going to wash them one more time, just to get rid of the excess dyes and scrub the midsoles once again after that I'm gonna apply the jet black leather dye So 
So you can see my workspace got dye on it. Fucked it up. But that's what it's for. So you can see the black leather dye is a little bit glossy. That's okay. We're gonna tone that down. You're gonna add a little bit of dollar. You're gonna mix it up in that little jar and you know, just shake it. Then you're gonna apply it. Remember though, if you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. No, I'm just kidding. You do have to shake it more than twice. Okay, so here's the final product, I guess you could say. Well, almost final, because I have a couple other ideas for it. This shoe, I'm going to be giving away to my, to my son. And he doesn't know that, so it's going to be a surprise. But I'm thinking about putting a little bit of graffiti on it and see how it looks with some maybe Molotov markers. So that's the final product of how the foam dye, marble dye, Picasso dye, whatever the freaking dye you want to call it, is going to turn out or how mine turned out. Just remember though to wash at least like two times to take away the excess dyes and tone it. That's your key to tone it.